Endoscopic ultrasound is, is a newer technique that involves high resolution imaging. That means it's an image there where we can see the wall now of the intestinal tract. And we can see the wall of the intestinal tract in the esophagus, the stomach, first part of the small intestine, and the rectum. And what does that mean? Once we see the wall, that means there's usually about five layers of the wall of the intestinal tract. We can see where a tumor has penetrated and how deep it goes into the wall. Sometimes it goes all the way through the wall. Sometimes it stops at the outer level or the serosa. But it oftentimes will let the medical oncologist know or the radiation oncologist know that how far we can treat now. And also helps the surgeon to know, can this area be resected now? So it's very, very good now for staging that we use endoscopic ultrasound. We can also see the adjacent structures in these areas. That means that we can look at the mediastinum, which is in the chest. We can look for lymph nodes that are in the chest. And we can even biopsy those if necessary. We can look into the stomach, and because the adjacent structures are so close by, such as the pancreas, we can see that very well. We can see the liver very well. We can see the bile ducts. So it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, complementary type of examination when we're looking at these areas that might have been picked up on a CT or an MRI. We can also, through the endoscopic ultrasound, do fine needle aspirations. That means that we can take biopsies, which are really suctions of the involved organs that are adjacent to the intestinal tract, such as the pancreas, such as the pancreatic mass. We can biopsy through that. We can also take biopsies of involved lymph nodes. And these procedures can be done as outpatients. They're, they're safe procedures. They're still invasive procedures, but they're safe procedures that, are, that can be performed.